Hi, this video is here to help you with converting units of time. Before we begin, let's remind ourselves of some important facts about units of time. Can you complete the missing spaces in these sentences? There are 60 seconds in one minute, 60 minutes in one hour, and 24 hours in one day. There are seven days in one week and 52 weeks in one year. There are 12 months in one year. Now that we've recalled some of the key units of time, let's take a look at how to convert between seconds and minutes. There are 60 seconds in one minute. Therefore, to convert minutes to seconds, we multiply the number of minutes by 60. For example, to convert three minutes to seconds, we would multiply three by 60. Three multiplied by 60 equals 180. Three minutes equals 180 seconds. To convert five minutes and seven seconds to seconds, we would multiply five by 60, which equals 300 seconds. And then add on the seven seconds. Five minutes and seven seconds equals 307 seconds. To convert from seconds to minutes, we would divide the number of seconds by 60 to give us the total in minutes. For example, to convert 240 seconds to minutes, we would divide 240 by 60, which equals four. 240 seconds equals four minutes. But what happens if we don't have a number of seconds that is exactly divisible by 60? For example, how would we convert 150 seconds to minutes? We would need to think how many 60s are in 150. We know that one lot of 60 equals 60. Two lots of 60 equals 120. Three lots of 60 equals 180. So in 150 seconds, we have two whole minutes, 120 seconds, and 30 seconds left over. So 150 seconds is equal to two minutes and 30 seconds. We can also write this as two minutes 30. Now it's your turn. Have a go at completing this conversion table. Pause the video now and have a go. Well done. Check your answers carefully and make any corrections that you need to. Now let's take a look at how to convert between days and weeks. We already know that there are seven days in a week. To convert from weeks to days, we would multiply the number of weeks by seven to give us a total number in days. For example, to convert eight weeks to days, we would multiply eight by seven, which equals 56. Eight weeks equals 56 days. To calculate how many weeks there are in a number of days, divide the number of days by seven. If there is a remainder, this becomes days. For example, to convert 39 days to weeks, we divide 39 by seven which equals five remainder four. 39 days equals five weeks and four days. Now it's your turn. Try and complete this conversion table. Pause the video now and have a go. Well done. Check your answers carefully and make any corrections that you need to. Let's take a look at how to convert between months and years. There are 12 months in a year. To convert years to months, we multiply the number of years by 12 and add on any remaining months to give us the total number of months. For example, to convert six years and three months to months, we would multiply six by 12, which equals 72. We would then add on the remaining three months. 72 add 3 equals 75. 6 years and 3 months equals 75 months. We already know that there are 12 months in a year, so to convert months to years, we would divide the number of months by 12 to give us the number of years. 
If there is a remainder, this becomes the additional number of months. For example, to convert 38 months to years and months, we would divide 38 by 12, which equals 3 remainder 2. The remainder becomes the number of months. 38 months equals 3 years and 2 months. Now it's your turn to have a go. Some children's ages are recorded in months and some in years and months. Order the children by age order from youngest to oldest. Pause the video now and have a go. Well done. Check your answers carefully. By converting all of the ages to months, we can see that Aaliyah is the youngest, followed by Jack, then Mo, then Sarinda, Claire, and finally Ruby. I hope you found this video useful. For more math support, check out our other maths concept videos available on the Twinkle website.